Once upon a time, the commander of the angels with white wings, the being created from smokeless fire, the creature that allowed us to be expelled from paradise, the most notorious criminal of the Jin tribe. Because of his arrogance, he fell from the highest position to the lowest position, the worst enemy of humanity, the devil Jinni. We created man from uncooked mud and stinking slime, and we created the living and the jinn from their fire before man. The first inhabitants of the earth were jinn, and when Iblis was created, there were no people in the world. The jinn tribe reigned in the universe. The one whose appearances are as white as light, the ones that have not prostrated themselves in the heavens and the earth, leaving not an inch of space. Iblis, who is superior to the angels in appearance. So, the devil taught the angels for 20,000 years. The jinn caused confusion on the earth and shed blood, and God sent an army of angels, headed by Iblis, upon them. The devil defeated these raging beings with his army, drove them to the islands and the foothills of the mountains. Iblis and his army of angels settled in the fertile places of earth. After doing this job, he was proud to himself that he had achieved something that no one had ever achieved before. Of course, God was aware of his pride, but the angels who were with him did not know this. When God told the angels that he would create a caliph on earth, will you create a being there like the jinn did before? They asked, if that was why we had been sent to them. And God said, I know what you do not know, I mean, I know that arrogance and pride that is in the demon's heart that you don't know. After that, God ordered Adam's land to be brought. The earth was brought and God created Adam. Adam waited for 40 nights as a lifeless statue thrown aside. The demon comes to his lifeless statue of him. He was tapping Adam's foot and making a sound out of it blowing into it like blowing into a reed, going in and out of his mouth, coming out of from behind and coming out of his mouth. In that dry mud, you're nothing. If I were to haunt you, I would destroy you, he was saying. And if you were haunting me, I wouldn't listen to you, said Adam. The angels and Iblis came to Adam and began to examine him. Who is this? What does it do? Why did God create this? Satan asked it to the angels, what would you do? If God was to revive him and give him life and make him superior to you, Angel said, What kind of question is this? Of course we obey God. When Satan realized that a superior being would be created from him, Adam's jealousy began. Remember that time, and behold, the angels of God, I am going to create a human being from dried clay. Therefore, I have completed its creation and breathed into it from my spirit. Prostrate yourselves before it, God said. So, the angels prostrated themselves all together. Except Iblis was not with those who prostrated, and he imposed. O oh, Iblis, what prevented you from prostrating yourself when I commanded you? God asked. Iblis said, I am superior to him because you created me from fire, but him from clay. God said, then get down from the heaven now. You have no right to be arrogant there. Come on, get out, because you are one of the despicable ones. Iblis said, grant me time until the day when mankind will be resurrected. God said, come on, you are one of those who are giving time. Iblis said, if you let me go astray from now on, I swear that I will sit on your straight path to lead them astray. Then, of course, I will be introduced to them from before them, from behind them, from their left, their right, and you will not find many of them among the grateful. God replied, Get out of it. Oh, you have been wronged and expelled. And whoever of them follows you, I will fill you all into hell. It was said, Oh, Adam, you and your wife will live in paradise and eat whatever you want, but don't go near that tree. Then you will be among the wrongdoers. According to Ibn Abbas, when Iblis wants to enter paradise, the keepers of paradise prevent him. Then it came to the snake. It was an animal with four legs. 
It was similar to a Khorasan camel. It was almost the most beautiful of the animals. The devil appealed to all the other animals, but no one accepted him. Then the snake accepted it and swallowed it and let devil into paradise without showing him to the guardians of the paradise. When the snake entered paradise, devil came out of his mouth and started delusion. That's how the snake was cursed. Its feet disappeared and it began to crawl on its stomach. Its provision was made in the earth and because of this it became an enemy to mankind. Then Satan whispered to them and confused them to show their closed places of worship to each other and said, your God has forbidden you this tree so that you will become angels or become one of the eternal living. Let them their sincere advisor and he also swore. One day the devil of a believer and the devil of an unbeliever meet. The devil of the unbeliever is overweight, fat, clean and well dressed. But the devil of a believer is weak, dirty and naked. The devil of the unbeliever asks the devil of the believer. What is this? The devil of a believer says, what shall I do? I fell for a man who reads Besmala when he is going to eat. I stay hungry. When he drinks, he reads the Besmala and I get thirsty. When he wears something, he wears the dress with Besmala and I stay naked. When he is cleaned, he cleans himself with Besmala and I remain dirty. The disbelievers Satan said, I am friends with a man who does not bring Besmala to any of them. I share in his eating, drinking and wearing. According to a narration from Jabir bin Abdullah, the messenger of God said, Iblis builds his throne on water. Then he sends his helpers to the right and left to do the evil they are going to do. The one who is closest to him in authority and position is the one who does the greatest mischief. They all come to the demon to tell him what they have done. And one of them says, I have done this and that. But Iblis will say to him, is it something that you have done? And then someone else comes and says, I didn't let go of him until he divorced his wife or something. The demon is so pleased with that, he immediately calls to them and compliments them by saying, how cute you are. Aisha says, the messenger of God left me one night. I felt jealous because of that. He came a little later and felt that I was jealous. He said to me, what's wrong Aisha? Are you jealous? He asked me, what? Wouldn't someone like me be jealous of a person like you? I said, the messenger of God said, has Satan come to you? Oh, messenger of God, is there a devil within me? I said, yes. Is there a devil within every person? I said, yes. And he said, do you have one too? Oh, messenger of God. Messenger of God replied, yes, there is. But my Lord helped me and mine surrendered. According to a narration from Abu Derda, he said the following, The messenger of God got up to pray. We heard him say in his prayer, I seek refuge from you in God. Then I will curse you three times with the curse of God. He held out his hand as if he was going to catch something. When he finished his prayer, he said, O oh, messenger of God, we heard you say something during the prayer that we had never heard before. And we also saw that you hold out your hand. The messenger of God said, Iblis, the enemy of God, brought a piece of fire and brought it close to my face. I have said three times, I seek refuge in God from you. Then I said, I curse you with the curse of God. But even though I told him three times, he didn't run away and disappear. Then I wanted to catch him. That's why I held out my hands. So I strangled him. By God, I would love to tie him next to one of the wishes of this mosque so when you came in the morning you would all see him but then i remembered this prayer of my brother suleiman oh lord forgive me and give me such a property that it will not be worthy of anyone after me yes he said and god drove him away like a dog according to what is narrated from abu huayra the prophet ikram said the following when the Athan is recited for prayer, the devil turns his back and flees to a place where he will not hear the azan. He comes back when it's over. When the igamat is brought for prayer, he turns around and runs away again. When it's over, 
he comes again and puts himself between the person and his soul and remind him something by saying remember something it reminds you of things that you have never thought of before as a result a person does not know how many rakahs he has performed in Another narration from Abu Huraira, there is no child that the devil does not touch during his birth. It is because of this nudge of the devil that the child screams at birth, except for the son of Mary and himself, except for this it is commanded. Abu Huraira recited the following verse after narrating this hadith, saying, read the following verse if you want, I have besought him and his generation from the racism Satan to God. When the mother of Mary became pregnant with Mary, she prayed to God in this way to protect her. In a narration narrated by Abdullah bin Masud, a man is mentioned next to the prophet and said about the man. This person falls asleep when it was said, he does not get up for the morning prayer. The messenger of God said, this is the one whom Satan has made to listen to. What he said is mentioned. When one of you sleeps at night, the devil puts three knots in your neck root. Every time he ties a knot, he causes you to have a long night ahead of you. When a person wakes up and remembers God, a knot is united. When he performs voodoo, the second knot is united. If he prays, all of the knots will be united. He is the one who is cheerful and pleasant in the morning. Otherwise, his heart is dirty and lazy in the morning. In some hadiths, it is stated that Satan enters the human body and takes a place there. As a matter of fact, in a hadith narrated by Abu Huayra, the messenger of God says as follows, Let one of you blow three times when he wakes up from his sleep. One of the places where Satan gains a place by going into the human body is under the fingernails. Prophet Muhammad said, trim your beards and cut your nails when devil comes between the flesh and the nails. As a matter of fact, in a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira, he said the following, God likes a servant to sneeze. He does not like him to yawn. When one of you yawns during prayer, let him lock up the yawn as much as he can, because the devil enters. Satan's attack at the moment of ablution is described as follows. Satan whispers to some people who perform ablution that they should stay in it for a long time. Therefore, these people spend a lot of time unnecessary doing voodoo. They exaggerate it a lot. Some of them repeat the intention of voodoo many times with the suggestion of Satan. Voodoo begins again and again. Some of them, by investigating the source of water thoroughly with these suggestions, get the impression that the voodoo water is not clean. When one of you is in prayer, Satan comes to you and catches you like hunter catches an animal. Then it gives you a feeling like farting between that person's buttocks. When one of you encounters such a situation, let him not leave the prayer unless he hears a definite sound or smell. The prophet draws attention to an imprudence encountered every day in this way. Don't joke around turning the gun on each other because you don't know. Satan will divorce you and you will find yourself in the pit of hell. A narration recorded by a Muslim from Ibn Masud is as follows. They said, O messenger of God, some of us hear such voices from within that we would rather burn until the coal is cut off and be thrown from heaven to earth than say it in intentionally. With these delusions harm us. The holy prophet says, no, this fear of yours is in the expression of true faith. According to Abu Qatada, he heard the messenger of God say the following. The dream is from God. Hulm, or nightmare, is from Satan. So, if one of you sees a bad dream that you don't like, let him spit on his left side and ask God for refuge from the Satan. If you do this, Satan will never be able to harm you. Abu Huraira says, the messenger of God appointed me to keep the zakat of Ramadan. Then a black man came and began to take handfuls from the exterior. I immediately grabbed him and said, I will take you to the messenger of God. He told me, 
I am a poor and needy person. Besides, there are a lot of children I have to take care of. My needs are really many and severe. I had to let him go. In the morning, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Huayra, what did you do with your prisoner last night? Abu Huayra said, Oh Messenger of God, I was worried about my severe need and my children, so I let him go out of pity. The Messenger of God says, But he has certainly lied to you. Let's know. He will come again. He said, I understand from this word that Target will come again. So I started waiting for him. Then he came again and began to palm it out. I immediately grabbed him and said, I will definitely take you to the messenger of God. Let me go begging again. I'm really needy. There are children with me. He said he wouldn't do it again. I felt sorry again and let go. The next day, messenger of God said, Oh Abu Huayra, what did you do with your prisoner last night? And I said again, Oh messenger of God, he was troubled by his children because of his need. So I took pity and released him. But messenger of God said he lied, but he will come again. The third time I peeped again. He came again and began to take handfuls. I grabbed him and said, I will definitely take you to the prophet. This is your third coming. Besides, you say you won't come again unless you get bored. Again, he begged saying, let me go. I will teach you a few words so that God will benefit you with them. What are these words? Tell me, I said. He said to me, when you get into bed, read the ayat al-kursi to the end. If you do this, God will plant a guardian angel over you. Satan will not come near you until the morning. I felt sorry for him again and released him. In morning, the prophet Muhammad comes again, asks, what did you do with your work last night? I say, oh messenger of God. He said that he would teach me a few words and that God would benefit me with them. So I released him again and prophet asked, what are they? I said, sir, when you lie down on your bed, read the ayat al-kursi from the beginning to the end. If you read it, there is no lack of guard that God will put on you. And he said that the devil will not come near me until the morning. The messenger of God said, look, this time he has told the truth, even though he is a dark liar. Abu Huayra, do you know who you have been talking to for three nights? I said no. He said he was the devil. Everyone who leaves his house has two banners in his hands. One of the hands is an angel. The other banner is of the devil. If that person goes out for a job and God loves and is in accordance of his consent, the angel will follow him with the banner in his hand until he returns home. If he goes out for a job that summons the wrath of God, Satan follows him with the banner in his hand. He will be under the banner of Satan until he returns to his home. According to a rumor from Imam Malik, the following news reached him. Khalid ibn Walid said to the Prophet, I am scared when I'm asleep. Do you like to advise me what to do? He gave him the following advice. I seek refuge in God with the exact words of God from his wrath, his warning, the evil of his servants, the delusions of the devils and those with him who have thrown me into evil. If the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah are not read in a house for three days, Satan approaches that house. The Prophet recommended reading the Quran in some hadiths in order to be protected from Satan. In the narrations, it is reported that if a person in his house or recites the Quran while he goes to bed, a guard is assigned by God with that person without leaving until the morning and no devil can approach it during that time. In a narration from Abu Huayra, it is reported that the devil who came disguised as a human advised Abu Huayra to recite Quran when he went to bed, informing him that no devil could approach him if he did so. According to a narration from Anas, he said the messenger of God said the following, Whoever leaves his house, he says, Bismillahi tawakkaltu allallahi wa la havla wa quwata illa billah. I put my trust in God and come out in the name of God to be able to worship and to be protected from sins is only by the power and might of God. If he is told it by the angel and it is sent to him, he has been made sure of every grief. You have been protected and guided to the right path. In additions, demons move away from him. And whoever ignores the Quran, which the most merciful has sent down as a lesson full of wisdom, we will surround him with a Satan. Now he becomes their friend. These devils lead them astray, but they still think that they are on the right path. It will continue like this until we come to our presence. When he appeared before us, he said to his friend, I wish that between you and me there was as far as between to the east and west. What a bad friend you are. And God will say, 
your wish will not benefit you in the least today, because we persecute together throughout life, and here you will suffer the punishment together. Prophet Muhammad, when the son of Adam recites the verse of prostration and prostrates himself, Satan retreats to a corner crying and says, Poor me, the son of Adam was commanded to prostrate himself, and he prostrated himself. For this reason, paradise belongs to him. I was commanded to prostrate myself and I refrained from prostrating. That's why hell is mine. It was reported from Ahmed bin Gais that he said, I have arrived in Medina. My purpose was the Umar of the Amir al mumin When I arrived, a large congregation gathered there, preaching to the people of acceptance, and said, When the order of death comes to Adam, O Lord, my enemy Iblis, when he sees me dead, he will rejoice that he has been given a respite until the day of resurrection. He will laugh at what happened to me, he said. He was answered as follows, O Adam, you will go back to paradise and that cursed demon will be left to wait 